Hello there, my spooky friends. It is the beginning of my absolute favorite month of the year. October, oh, I am such a sucker for Halloween. It just makes me so happy, and I think it's a holiday where everybody gets to let their creative side out to prowl around. Today, I want to decorate my room for Halloween, and I have some very cute decorations that I've been collecting, so I wanted to take you with me as we get everything ready for spooky season. First things first, I think we're going to have to do a bit of a clean. It's a little messy in here. I don't have like a set theme. I'm thinking kind of just a cute fall harvesty look with little sprinkles of spookiness in between. We might make some crafts while we're at it. Let's see what happens. Hello, I am still cleaning. Um, there's there's more to do here than I thought. A lot of my surfaces are covered with craft supplies, uh, but I wanted to take a minute and show you some of the things that I bought this season for my room for my Halloween decorations. Heavier than I thought. I put them all in my vintage suitcase because I wanted it to be kind of a surprise when it was time to start decorating. I mean, not a surprise, I know what's in here, but um, but I wanted to have them out of the way until I was ready to start decorating. So this is the storage for them so far. And I thought we could just go through and take a look at what we're working with. So once I saw on TikTok that Target had the other Halloween decorations out, my sister and I went immediately. We had been basically checking every few days to see if Target's Halloween stuff was there. Um, I've never been really crazy into the little birds, but this year they were just so cute. I decided I had to get some of them. This is Grady. I just absolutely love that they all have names. And he's a little farmer friend. I don't know if you can see. Look, he has a little rake. This one's name is Olive. And I wasn't going to get her initially. I was like, oh, she's cute, but you know, how do you know it's fall? And then bam, she's got a pumpkin on her back. So that really drew me in. Kate, actually, my sister pointed this out to me. Make sure you stay hydrated the last one his name is Spec. he he's so cute I absolutely adore him because he's a little bird watcher bird he's got his little let me see if I can get he's got his little spectacles and he's got his binoculars and he's holding some leaves um, I don't know where I'm going to put them yet but I'm very excited I don't know if I'm going to like try and collect more target burbs in the future but we'll see these these guys were each like 5.99 usd i'm gonna put the cost of everything um up on the screen here when we're done not because i want to be like mm, this is how much money i spent so that you can see like oh what is the actual cost that goes into this and i want to do that too with my sewing projects in the future um it's all about transparency they're all so cute. I just love them. I'm so excited. Oh, so this is a little ghosty friend and I got him at Marshall's. He's like, he's like a felted wool. He's very soft and he's got a heavy base and like quake at all. 
Ooh. He's gonna help us bring in some of the spookiness. A lot of figurine friends. Like, I, that wasn't something that I thought we would go for at all. But this is um, an owl. He's super cute. He's super cute. He's from Target as well. Um, he was $10. He's got his little broom. Uh, we have another little friend who was kind of like that owl. And I love her. She is adorable. I did not realize at first that she was a fox because she doesn't have a tail. But this is a little fox and she's got her little, got her little basket of pumpkins, like baby pumpkins. She was also $10. Things. I'm so excited to put these up and I have no idea where I'm going to do it. And this is the final... Um, Thing in the suitcase. This little pumpkin sign. I got this from Joann's. I actually posted an Instagram picture with these guys a while ago and I thought they were just so cute. They had a lot of different products with these three pumpkins on it but um, some of the other ones gave me kind of a live, laugh, love vibe. I want to put this somewhere near the door so it's like welcome to the patch, welcome to the pumpkin patch kind of thing. I don't have the tag for them, but I think they were also about $15. Here has been kind of a, a fight to get uh, Halloween decorations. The longest time there were none, and I think everybody collectively decided August 13th was when fall began. And we were all on board with that, but the retail side of the world was like, no, not yet, not yet, we're not ready. Which is fair, I mean, you gotta do the back to school, but when you're, uh, 27 year old woman and you have no children and uh there's a pandemic on this is this is what's fueling me baby it's spooky time oh oh i forgot we have one more thing that i can't wait to show you oh hello i am way too excited about this skull i have wanted a skull for my room just as decoration for the longest time and now and finally here to join me um but i got this this little guy from a party store in seattle i went there today with my sister it was 12.99 um and i think this is going to be our last little friend that we purchased for the room he or she it's Maybe a she. Um, this individual is probably gonna just stay out all year wrong t long, to be honest. The ambiance. And uh, I, I think we're gonna have a really good time. So I will finish tidying and then we can put all of this together. After giving my room a good scrub, I started placing my new items all around. I also included some old ones that I happen to have lying around the house. I knitted all these pumpkins from a great pattern that I've had for a while. I'll link it down below. My sister is an avid collector of Halloween decorations and she didn't use all of the ones that we've gotten so far, so I ended up using all the leftovers for my room, like this little black cat. I like to put out spooky movies and books and use those as decorations as well. I had these coasters that a friend had gotten from a no-buy group and she thought I could do something with them. Now the prints on them weren't really my style and they were all cracked, making them look a little bit more damaged, so I decided that I was going to turn them into candy corn coasters. I know a lot of people don't like candy corn, but I really do. I think it tastes yummy. Now after about 12 coats of white paint, I was ready to add the orange. I can't draw straight lines and I've said that many times before on this channel, so I decided to use some blue painter's tape to help guide my hand. This project took a long time because I had to keep on going back and forth and adding more paint, but it was a nice thing to do just to check in as I was going about my day. There's my bookshelf again. thought I was actually pretty proud of how it turned out. Just doing a quick tour to let you see the details. We just spent a couple of relaxing afternoons putting up little knickknacks anywhere I could. Kate ordered a bunch of bats to put in our den upstairs and she ended up with about twice the amount of bats that she needed for her project, so she gave the rest for me. 
this was great because I really wanted something like a bunch of bats flying above my bed and I was thinking about trying to make them out of fabric but when I gave that a go it did not really turn out. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed looking at all the fun stuff I added to my room for the season. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to give it a like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. We're going to have lots of fun new videos coming up soon. Thank you again. Be brave and do your best.